my father was in the fishing business and uh, he bought a lot of electronical equipment from a big company and they gave him a windsurfer uh, together with this big buy. So that Christmas I got a wetsuit from my father and I had to buy the windsurfer for him. So, so, and I, I bought it and uh, we lived about two kilometers away from the beach. So I made a trolley behind my bike. So I was biking with the windsurfing equipment behind me to, to the beach. So, so, and uh, I could never stop. It was, it is the most incredible sport. And, uh, and when you get to love it, you, you can't stop. Uh, I think uh, in a German magazine many years ago, it's the whole explanation about why speed sailing is special came there. Uh, they measured the adrenaline in the blood of a windsurfer and one driving a car. And driving a car at 250 kilometers per hour on a narrow road, you had the same adrenaline when you go on a windsurfer in 30 knots. So I think that speaks for itself. Yeah, I think it's back in uh, 86, 87, and uh, we got uh, new boards from Cobra, and it was the Cobra boards, it was a brand of Cobra. And uh, we got the 260 from there and the 290 that was kind of made for speed to go faster. And uh, we came on those boards and, and it was just, uh, we didn't think it was possible. So suddenly we were kind of feeling we went fast, double as fast as the other on the beach. The experience was so incredible. You, you, I, I still have the feeling I can touch it when I think about it. So, so then you want more of it. I think it's like a drug that way. When you, when you open that door, you want more. I, I love the concept of do a speed challenge because that's also all about speed windsurfing. You fight against yourself. First impressions: the water was quite low. Uh, like some of the walls were open, so uh, it was not uh, at the day it was ready for racing. So uh, it looks a bit scary. <laughs> I think it's very important for me, it's as, as a first time a rookie in, in the channel to, to, uh, to use my brains and not my guts and my balls and, 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 and go and learn how to do it before hitting the hammer. Studying the channel the few days we've been here, you see that on the last part of the channel, most of the crashes happen. There is uh, probably 10 knots more wind in that part. I want to go, go start get going and, and, and feel it. Uh, I had a bad crash in Carpatos in August, so I hurt my neck a bit. And I can't, this hangs in because when you see the channel, it's brutal. You crash here, it's brutal. It's a crazy thing to do. It's not normal to go down a 40 centimeters deep, six meters wide channel in close to from 80 to 100 kilometers per hour.